we're back again today with another modification video on my 2003 Saab 93, and I'm super excited to throw this mod on the car, just like I was for my Maptune strut brace a couple weeks ago. Like I mentioned a couple weeks back, I uh, went ahead and installed the Maptune strut brace on this car. If you guys didn't see that video, click up here in the top corner. Super easy process, and it makes a world of a difference for the handling of this car, and it also looks pretty sweet to have in your engine bay. But today, as you can tell from the title, we're actually going to be installing a different modification from Maptune. This one, Cosmetic, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. These are their sport grills uh, that we're going to be putting on the front bumper here. Before we get into this job, I once again want to give a big shout out to Maptune for sending this out to me. Put another one of their parts on my car. I have their suspension, strut brace, tune, lots of other little things on this car that is courtesy of them. So a huge shout out to them. Um, their website will be linked at the top of the description, as well as Swedish Motorsports, um, who is the U.S. branch of Maptune. Anything you need for your Saab, whether it be an NG93, a 95, even older stuff like the classic 900s, which if you didn't see, I put some three spokes on that car. Check out that video in the top corner here. They make tons of aftermarket stuff, so you're just going to go have to check it out for yourself to see what you're going to put on your wish list for your own Saab. But uh, yeah, I've never really disliked the stock grill on these cars but this grill just looks so much sportier with the hexagon design they have these in both chrome and black and i think they even might have a couple other varieties i wanted to go with the chrome because i think black on this very dark blue paint would look a little bit weird so we're going to be swapping out um the chrome onto there the only thing we're going to need to take off of the old grill is the sob emblem right in the middle here um this is a very simple uh removal process. There's a couple different ways you can do it. If you have a bunch of broken tabs on your bumper already, um, my old bumper that I had on this car did, so I was able to just kind of pull them out like this. Wouldn't recommend that because you'll probably break even more tabs and then your new grill is not gonna be as secure. The best way to really do this is to remove the bumper. Removing the bumper on these cars is a very, very simple process. So we're gonna go ahead and do it that way. I also have the whole car jacked up because I'm rotating the tires and doing some other work. So I'd recommend jacking up the front end of the car as well to make this a little bit easier. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. got the old grills out. Um, there are a lot of tabs, especially on the center grill that holds them in. The sides aren't too bad. There's just one on each side um, that holds them in, but the center one has like three or four on the bottom, two on each side, and then four or five on the top. So center one, be gentle with it. Took me about five minutes probably to get it out, but uh, the side ones are pretty easy. We have the Saab logo swapped over to the new grill, so installation should be a lot simpler, but uh, let's get to it. These all made a very satisfying like clicking noise when I put them in, but I am gonna double check behind here, make sure it is fully installed. Um, when I had the Turbo X wheels on this car like two or three years ago, I made some custom like gray grills that looked like Turbo X grills. You can check out that video in the top corner. But uh, after about two or three months, my center grill flew off on the freeway um, and I obviously lost it. So um, I don't want this to happen to the new grill. So I'm gonna do a little bit of looking and then we'll throw the bumper on. I'm already noticing that this bottom slider here did not go in as it should have. And none of the bottom pieces were connected. Now it's in there a lot better.
bumper is 100% reinstalled. Again, guys, this took me about five minutes to put back on fully, so I highly recommend doing this job this way. But I mean, for a hundred bucks, around a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more. This is a no brainer mod to me, similar to the strut brace. This obviously helps with performance, but this I think just makes the whole front end of the car look a little bit more aggressive. You can even see much more clearly now all the stuff back in here, which is super cool. But uh, I'm gonna get this thing out into the sunlight. First, I need to do a couple things to the car off camera, completely unrelated to this, such as rotating the tires. And then I have a bunch of these little clips for the side skirts because there's a couple that are missing on each side of mine. So I'm just been wanting to take care of that for a while, but uh, I'm gonna do that off camera. Then we'll get this thing outside and uh, see how good it really looks. Two very boring minutes later. Tires rotated, couple other little things done. Um, so this was definitely a successful little maintenance morning for me. But uh, wow, this thing looks so good with this grill on here. It just makes it a little bit sportier up front. Like it's just those little details that I love about this car specifically that just make it look sportier. For example, things like the arrow lip, the wheels aren't really a little detail, but the brakes behind the, the wheels, the, uh, you know, slotted rotors with the arrow brakes, the, uh, the front license plate, the grill, um, just these little tiny details just about the front alone that just make this car look so sporty and I'm so happy with how this thing looks. This grill is absolutely awesome. I love how much more you can actually see back in here. I didn't actually realize that until now that I put it on. How much more you can see back behind here and all the little details of it. I mean you can see the air intake right there behind that grill. So Overall, super, super happy with how this looks. Definitely would recommend it, especially for the price. Similar to the strut brace, like I said, very cheap modification that'll give you a significant upgrade in a certain area of the car. Once again, huge shout out to MapTune, always supporting my cars, always supporting the channel. Um, so let's go ahead and support them because they're supporting not only me, but our brand. Um, I've got their sticker on the car right there but uh thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up maptoon's website and switch motorsports again will be linked at the top of the description and i'll see you all next time Take it easy.